Hello and welcome to City 7 News. Here are the headlines at this hour. Investigation ordered into death of American swimmer in Fujera. Smuggled animals find safe refuge in Alain. And IMF expects increased economic growth for the Middle East. The world governing body for swimming, FINA, has ordered an investigation into the death of American swimmer Francis Crippen during the final round of the 2010 FINA 10 km Marathon Swimming World Cup in Fujera on Saturday. FINA President Julio Maglion said that FINA has opened an investigation into the cause of Crippen's death. Maglion said that it was a terrible accident, adding that organizers of the event in the UAE had adhered to safety regulations. A report on the cause of the death is expected tomorrow. Crippen had reportedly informed his coach after eight kilometers of the swim that he wasn't feeling well, but he continued. Following a search of more than two hours, police and Coast Guard divers found his body just before the final buoy on the two-kilometer-long course. All other activities related to the event were called off as a mark of respect to the swimmer. The UAE has seen a spate of animal smuggling attempts in the last year. Alain Wildlife Park and Resort has taken in as many of the confiscated wildlife, from bush babies to parrots. City 7 reporter Carmel Diamici stopped by to see how the latest park visitors for cheetah cubs have fared since their arrival. These four cubs are the only ones left of the original 15 that Dubai Customs intercepted during a smuggling attempt from Somalia via flight cargo. The others died in transport, on arrival, and at the Alline Park from starvation and trauma complication, despite the best attempts of authorities to save them. They were in a small box and they were filled with all the poo and feces, so they were, I don't know for how long they were in that box. Arshid Tusi, manager of veterinary services for the park, nursed these four youngsters from the brink of death for the last four months, although some complications still remain. You can see the limbs of one of them is still a bit bent, which is due to a lack of uh, proper balanced diet. Now the cheetah cubs are growing into lively, friendly adults who are thrilled to have visitors. They will most likely go on to a well-equipped breeding center with open roaming ground once they are old enough. A far cry from the life they would have led in a private resident's home. A human being has an affinity toward wildlife. And sometimes that feeling manifests itself of uh, uh, an individual wanting to have its own wildlife. Wildlife requires a level of care far beyond that of domestic livestock or household pets. Still, that doesn't stop the underground smuggling trade from profiting at the expense of these animals, who often die due to the ignorance of ill-equipped owners. Manager Farshid Madarfar told us that the park works closely with authorities to rehabilitate the cases. We don't want to see anybody be in any kind of a safety hazard or dangerous situation where their interaction with the wildlife could become a danger to themselves. These cheetahs were the lucky ones. They will go on to live long, prosperous lives under veterinary surveillance. Carmel Diamici, City 7 News. Over the weekend, hundreds of women came out to run the first all-female marathon in the UAE. According to organizers, this race is a celebration of women across the globe and is dedicated to raising awareness about their health. 800 women came out early Friday morning for the first ever 5-kilometer women's run held at Al Mamzar. According to organizers, 4,500 women participated during the standard charter Dubai Marathon in January and clamored for their own race. Six, five, four, First thing, this is for the fitness and for the health and also for the beauty and you know the woman how they look it. And in the end of the day also there is a prize money for 10 the winner. There is 10,000 dirham and then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then 500 for 10 position. And then gold medal, silver and bronze medal also. 
and trophies. It was a fun run that celebrated femininity and promoted well-being. Mothers had their children in tow and wives had their husbands cheering them on, while the rest had families and friends supporting them to finish the race. It was great. It was very tiring. I'm not as fit as the rest, but we are from Argentina. This encourages you to do more exercise, to, to have a, a, a healthy style of life. It yes, was a it's challenge, and it was yes, good. A challenge for us. It was good for all of us. It's a nice thing to an old female race. Your 5K and, women's uh, round 2000. Yeah, it was a joy, but it was good for it. It's something to train, train for. I just stay fit so I can keep up with the children at school. At the end of the race, Bethlehem Balayne from the UAE team bagged the first place by finishing at 16 minutes and 45 seconds. She took home 10,000 dirhams in addition to other gifts. I'm happy. It's a good race. Just uh, the way that is a little bit hot, but I can. Well done. The rest of the winners were awarded on stage with cash prizes beginning from 5,000 dirhams for the second place down to 500 dirhams. The successful conclusion of the 5-kilometer women's run definitely raises the bar for next year. It is hoped that this event will encourage more females to join next year's event. Khadija Sali, City 7 News. Coming up later in the show, jewelry and art valued at 30 million US dollars to be auctioned in Dubai. But first, Laura Buckwell joins me with today's business news. Laura, the IMF predicts increased economic growth in the Middle East. Yes, that's right. So the IMF have released a report today. Um, it's a very positive outlook for the, for the Middle East. And they, they expect the UAE to post a GDP of 2.4% by the end of the year. However, Dubai still does have a couple of challenges on its hands. But overall, good news for the UAE. Absolutely. For more on that, join us after the break.